the empire on which the sun never sets is it egyptian the mesopotamian the persians the romans the spanish or the british yell imperio donte non se pone il sol we are going to study the land on which the sun never sets why the ice here is getting thinner and younger scientists are concerned with the increase in precipitation in this particular place do you want to live in the safest place on earth are you interested to meet a person from a different country every 50th instance how about enjoying a visa free travel and work do you want to visit the place where you cannot be born or buried where the world is frozen in time the arctic arctic is a beautiful pristine region with untouched wilderness and unparalleled beauty in a remote part of the world Hi I am Professor Balaji currently working as professor in the School of Biotechnology I am also chairperson at the Special Center for E-learning at Jawaharlal Nehru University Let us talk about the course it is a four credit course spanning 15 weeks comprising of 40 modules we follow the swayam's four quadrant approach the first quadrant is the video contents the second quadrant is the e-learning text material third quadrant is the discussion forum and the fourth quadrant is assessment so every week we will be releasing video contents textual materials in the beginning of the week and at the end of the week you will have the assessment and the discussion forum will run all the 15 weeks you can post questions on any topics you have a doubt while watching the video if you come across any questions there is a button at the bottom of the video where you can press that ask a question so by pressing that question the question can also be posted in the discussion forum so these are all the different ways by which the student can interact both with the course content as well as as the instructor the weekly assessment is basically a crossword puzzle so we will be releasing this question every week at the end and you will be given ample time to answer these questions If you want credit transfer you have to participate in the assessment part every weekly assessment you have to submit as well as the end term examination which is being conducted by the national testing agency let me give a brief overview about the topics that will be covered in this course environment and climate change is a global phenomenon so this course employs a holistic approach to understand the intricate network of factors that govern and influence climate change In the beginning we will study about arctic what is this arctic region and the various definition related to arctic and we will also study about some brief overview about arctic and the early expeditions by various explorers then we will study about solar irradiance albedo arctic amplification next we will study about the arctic ecosystem and biodiversity so we will learn about plant animal and marine biodiversity and adoption to the arctic environment then we will move on to study about ecology mainly bio geochemical cycles then we will study about organic and inorganic carbons in arctic ecosystem the topics covered include carbon cycle anti freeze proteins chemical processes methanogenesis or some of them then we will explore the sea we will study about climate change and its effects on ocean acidification ocean redox chemistry organic carbon recycling marine contamination permafrost arctic chemical and climate stressors chemical lithotrophy will also be studied from water we will move on to the atmosphere so here we will study about aerosols greenhouse gases their emission and their effects halogen chemistry ozone uv irradiation in relation to the arctic region finally we will study briefly about the northern sea route 
Asian countries working in the Arctic region and Indian Arctic activities. The contents of the course are developed based on the various important reports by global organizations and high quality research journal publications. Some of the organizations include Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which received the Nobel Prize in 2007, and Arctic Council and its various work groups, Ministry of Earth Sciences and NCPOR reports are some of the major articles which was used for the development of the course contents. We discussed many tools and techniques that are employed in the study of Arctic region. We have included many chemical reactions that are essential for understanding many of the processes that are happening. For example, how DMS is converted into methane sulfonic acid. There is a lot of mechanism and radical reactions involved in this particular process. So we will be studying about all the intricate chemical transformations that are happening in this particular course. To enable easy understanding, representations like mind mapping, concept mapping, network connectivity are included for your easy understanding. The presentation includes generous use of images, pictures, charts, tree map, sunburst charts, etc. to have an interactivity with the contents that are being given to the students. I welcome you all to join this particular course and explore the unexplored Arctic region. We can understand, explore how the rest of the world affects Arctic and how Arctic affects the rest of the world. Thank you.